get away. Look at this place. It's just surprising to find little places like this that are so nice in a place that you've never heard of. So now we're in like this little county in Hangzhou, which is called Jiandu. We're in one of the oldest town here. It's called Meichen. We're right in the middle of their Asian town. So ever since the pandemic started here in China, it has been really difficult for people here to travel internationally due to the COVID restriction. And I can't believe it's been like three years like this. A lot of people slowly transfer their focus more on domestic travels. And I actually noticed a really funny thing. Since people cannot travel outside China, they start to find places that are similar to like countries or spots outside of China. For example, like we have some water towns that are known for being the little Venus and there are certain islands that are saying they're the little Greece. And we also have mountain areas which is famous for being the little Switzerland. I can totally imagine the conversation be like, oh, so have you been to Hawaii? No, I haven't been to Hawaii, but I've been to little Hawaii and it's really nice. Uh, what is Little Hawaii? Oh, uh, you know, it's actually a little surf town in Hainan, China and it has a really chill vibe and the island is really beautiful a lot of people go in there surfing, enjoy the beach life and it kind of gives off the similar vibe as Hawaii even though I have never been there it's just in my imagination yeah, this is a little bit bittersweet but it's also cute I mean, if you cannot get something that you really want just pretend you already have it. If you haven't been to that place outside China, just pretend that you've already been there. I guess that's some way of making yourself happy during a special time like this. So everything is renovated based on the old structure and we're just exploring here and then the nature around it. That's basically what we are doing this weekend. this really famous local restaurant and the venue is very interesting it's like an indoor street yeah like an indoor street just see the beer behind me so apparently this food square used to be like a beer factory and they turned it into like a bar and restaurant area it's like showcasing one of the old period in china like how the society was like and also combining this showcase with you know restaurants and business can just be inside of this little you know stage So we witnessed this couple that has been sitting here at the table eating but they didn't say anything to each other and they're basically watching their phone This is modern China love It's like you're, you're healthy, you're, you're clean, you know, like this kind of cert certificate This literally like said you are one of the best families in town Like how do you qualify yourself to be the best family in town, I really don't know, like to be the healthiest. This is so typical Chinese family stuff back in the old days. Guys, how many TVs do you see here? It's 9 TV? No, wrong. There are 11 TV because there are CCTV in the corner, two of them. Did you see? It's like this large ass KTV in the middle of the town. Now we have Grandpa's playing chess and poker. <sighs> I don't even know how to live a simple life like this. It's just a Saturday night at a small town. This is, this is like the flower line. 
I'm gonna try the plum wine too. It's more have more alcohol content. It's good. A little wine to get totally completely messed up tonight. This is the first step. Oh oh oh! We haven't paid yet. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys all right? This Tony Montana life is becoming boring. Yeah, after the jacuzzi, what, what can you do in this town? I don't know. He would always win the fight. Bang, bang. He shot me down. Bang, bang. Good morning. I've heard the story about like how the emperors got defeated here and then they start to have this boat life along the shore because they're not allowed to come to the shore so they have this kind of fishing boat community. Seems like they're also famous for the wedding on the boat because the people, the fishermen used to be not allowed to marry the people on shore because they're inferior. This is what I'm talking about, the water wedding. Well, where, where's the husband, yo? It's really good. It's it's sesame sugar, inside, sugar right? Sesame, yeah. It's very, but not so sweet. Not mm. it's so very nice sweet. inside. Mm. Hot so there are literally two foreign guys coming to her place and show how she makes this. I want to see. I want to see. You can do it. So today she's not making it. We should, we should have told her that we're the government yeah, film crew. Yeah, we are. True, we are. The French. From, from, from. Yeah, the French one, two, three, four, five. This is the film crew. Bye bye. This lighting and everything, this pool. And we got a really nice little cute cafe downstairs. Wow, man. This weekend feels really long. As soon as you leave Shanghai and stop doing the same kind of shit, just keep yourself spontaneous. And spontaneous, then, yeah. Yeah, and then. Time just passes so slow. That's one of the good things to get out of your comfort zone. The weekend is over.